So these are PJ books. Let's first see what's inside. from the PJ Library. Hmm, now take it, what is the PJ Library? It's a, a library filled with books. Good, good. It is a kind of library. This is a public Jewish library. So the books are Jewish stories. And the Jewish stories are amazing. Do you know who was Jewish? This man. That's right, this man's Jewish. Who else was Jewish? Jesus. That's right, good job, good job. And the really cool thing about the public Jewish library is that they send us books for free and they can send you books too so you can have your own library of cool books that are from the Jewish culture. All you have to go and do is sign up on their website. You can go to pjourway.org slash welcome and sign up to get books delivered to your house for you and your children to read, which is so great right now since so many libraries are not open right now. So this looks like a wonderful story. It's very colorful and cute. We have a goose on the front and a man with glasses. Are you ready to read about Joseph had a little overcoat? Yeah. And this book is by Sims Tabak. Here we go. Do you know what an overcoat is? Hmm. It's a coat that gets navy old or something. <laughs> That's a good guess. So there's some coats that are short and there's some coats that are long. Hmm, do you think the overcoat is short or long? Long, long, long. That's right. So here's how the story goes. Joseph had a little overcoat. It was old and worn. So do you know what these are here? Patches. They are patches. And why does he have patches on his clothes? Maybe the goose just bite them. <gasps> That's right. And if the goose bit his clothes, maybe it made a hole? Or it made a um, tear? Yeah, or you'll tear, or it made a hole, or you'll tear. That's right. So we put a little piece of cloth over the hole or tear so it doesn't get bigger. And that is called a patch. Boy, he has a lot of patches on that overcoat. So he made a jacket of it and went to the fair. Now, did Joseph throw away his overcoat because it got old? He didn't! No! He cut off the part that was really old. You see here it's at the bottom and he made it shorter. Now doesn't this jacket look nice? Yeah. That's right. No patches on his new jacket. Yeah, he made from his overcoat. Look at that. Why not? Yeah, that's so cool. This book has holes in it and you can see his overcoat gets smaller and smaller through the holes. It's so cool. Okay. Joseph had a little jacket. It got old and worn. Can you tell me where you can see patches on his jacket here? Oh, patch, 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 patch. That's right. Joseph has patches on his sleeves and on the bottom of his jacket. Hmm, it doesn't look very nice anymore, does it? Yeah. So he made a vest out of it and danced at his nephew's wedding. Oh, look at that vest. Doesn't the vest look nice? <laughs> he cut off the sleeves and cut off the bottoms that had the patches. And now he has a nice vest. So Joseph's overcoat got smaller and smaller, but did he throw it away? Nope. Oh, no. Has a beard. He does. Joseph does have a beard. A lot of people in the Jewish culture have beards. A lot of people in lots of cultures have beards. Joseph had a little vest. It got old 
and worn. Oh look, there's some patches. Where? Patch, patch, patch. Good, they're at the bottom of his vest. Hmm, maybe it's that goose again. Likes to eat that overcoat material, huh? Yeah. So he made a scarf out of it and sang in the men's choir. Look at that, how clever. Doesn't the scarf look nice? Oh, now the yellow red right there. Very good, very good. So his overcoat got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and he's still using that overcoat. Wow, do you think he will throw it away? I don't think so, but I don't know what the red is for. Oh, that's his mouth, he's going, oh. He's singing a big, oh. Joseph had a little scarf. It got old and worn. Oh, look at all those patches on his scarf, huh? Will he throw it away now? I don't think so. What can he make out of it now? Well, let's find out. So he made a necktie out of it and went to visit his married sister in the city. Oh, what a nice necktie. How clever. <laughs> It's a real president. <laughs> Joseph had a little necktie. It got old and worn. Look at that. It's got a hole in it. Such Don't a in one patch. That's right. So he made a handkerchief out of it and drank a glass of hot tea with lemon. Maybe it's that goose again. <laughs> Maybe. But that's a very nice handkerchief he made, isn't it? Yeah. Joseph had a little handkerchief. It got old and worn. Oh my, look at the handkerchief. It has one patch. That's right, and a hole. So he made a button out of it. <laughs> How fun, and use it to fasten his suspenders. Wow, he has made that overcoat get smaller and smaller and smaller, and he's still using it. Incredible. Yeah! Joseph had a little button. One day he lost it. Oh, I don't like losing buttons. How about you? I don't like losing either. He doesn't look very happy. Do you think his cat and dog are helping him find the button? I think they are. Buttons are so small, I think. Yeah, that makes them hard to find, doesn't it? Yep, but my buttons are little big. <laughs> now he had nothing. Aww. So Joseph made a book about it, which shows you can always make something out of nothing. Oh my goodness, what a fun, clever story. I love it. And there's even a little song that you could play on the piano and guitar if you wanted to. It says, I had a little overcoat, much too old to sew, la la la, la la la. And it goes on like that. So, so cute. Did you like that story? Yeah. Me too. So if you would like to get Joseph Had a Little Coat, or other books from the Jewish Library, don't forget to sign up. It's a great resource for families and kids to expand their cultural awareness as well as get some cool free books. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye bye.